It's Decorating Cakes 101, and today I'm making a cake for my grandma's friend's grandchildren. This cake is two-sided, so that means it's going to be, one side is going to be for a boy, and one side is going to be for a girl. The girl side is going to have zebra print, and the boy side is going to have camouflage. So how I'm going to do this is the top is going to be part white, so I can write happy birthday, and then it's going to be the sides and part of the top is going to be decorated with the camouflage and the zebra. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I have some white fondant. And I have my Fun Not Fun mat, mat, so it's easy to roll it out in what shape I need. So I'm going to need 6 inch round, almost like a 6 inch round cake pan, and then I'm going to put it on top. So I'm going to go ahead and roll it out. So I'm going to put it right in the middle. There, and then start rolling it out so it meets the 6 inch mark. Alright, so I cut it into a neat, a neat, um six inch circle like that okay so I'm gonna set that circle be um, cut out aside and underneath some plastic wrap so it doesn't dry out and now we're going to do uh, the half and a half part so I have this electric blue for the girl and okay so now I have my fond knot and we're going to we'll just put it on the side all right so now I want to make sure it's about halfway so that looks right and let me just, there we go. Now I just need to cut it, because I don't want it to cover the entire cake. Just so it's easier to work with. Alright. And I'm just going to do the sides. For the camouflage, I have these three camouflage colors. Brown, forest green, and a light green color. Alright, so how I'm going to do camouflage is basically, I am going to just make them into like, camouflage is like blobs and then they're just like all mixed together. So that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to start off with this color. And it's okay if you don't have your colors thoroughly mixed because it just adds the effect camouflage. Alright, so I'm going to start off with my small roll and just start rolling each color out individually. Uh, I've rolled out the four screen and now just start, you know, cutting it into all different kinds of shapes, like blobs. That. That looks good. And just do a whole bunch of like random kinds of, you know, puddle type things. I don't know. Like that. It doesn't really matter. How you cut it. Alright, so I have all of these cut in, you know, just random shapes, zigzags, uh, blobs, you know. And so now I'm just going to lay these all out in random, you know, area, like form. You have to overlap them if you want them to all stick. So, like that looks okay. And Okay, so there's that. Now it's time to roll it out, because we need it to be all blended in. First you might want to just uh, pat it down a little bit. That should be good. Mm -hmm. But you don't want it to be too dry. But yeah, mix all the colors together. I have some water and the pieces aren't sticking like this one for example you just put a little bit of water right there and stick and they should it should work all right and then just smooth it out it will help them stick all together and just kind of mix it also that makes it really cool um you want to make sure that you flatten it and mix it and just made them all stick together and also using the water for the parts that wanted to just stay down. So that's okay. So now we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this on the cake. Alright? So you want to go ahead and carefully roll it up on your rolling pin. Very carefully. Okay. And I will show you me flattening it, but for now I just need to concentrate. Alright? So I'm going to make it low enough. Carefully stick it on the cake. Alright. So there's that. And uh, right now, uh, I'm just going 
to, you know, do the same thing I did on the blue side. Flatten it. Okay, so now that that is done, and now we're going to smooth it. Of course, because it's kind of lumpy. Very lumpy. So now, and the last thing I need to do before I put the zebra stripes on is put this. The part where I'm going to need to be wearing happy birthday on it. Alright, and before I put it on, I'm going to put a little water on it so it sticks. Well, I'm going to put it on here first. Like that. Alright. Careful. Put it on. Alright, and then use my smoother. And then... Smooth it around. Alright, so for the zebra stripes, I'm obviously going to roll it out. These. Alright, so there's our beautiful square. And for the zebra stripes, just do that. There you go. And then just keep doing that alternating. So now I already cut out all my triangles. And now just take your water and just just, you know, not too much, but just gently put it on your stripes, and you can just go like that. It'll look much better when I'm done. Okay? And then I'm not going to all do it that way, like where they're all facing. That way I'm going to do an alternate. I'm going to smooth it with the smoother now. Now I'm going to show you how to make a ball border. Alright, you may think just take little bits of it and you start rolling it. Not the case. Alright, so how you're going to do the ball border is very simple, okay? Now I have these two dowels, and they're that big, and I have the small round cutter. So how we're going to do this, and I'm going to put my two dowels right here, and I'm going to roll it out until that's how thick it is, how thick the dowels are. Okay, so now that's done, we're going to start cutting out whole bunch. You want to try and cut out as many as you can. Now, I'm going to cut those in half. Like that. And then roll it into a tiny little ball. And so each of them will be the exact same size. And then I'm just going to put them around this whole thing. Okay? Alright, so now I'm going to do just a simple rope border on the bottom, okay? So how I'm going to do that is I have my black fonda and these two dowels, and you just want to roll your fonda to the same size as these dowels or anything else, alright? So, because sometimes if you don't have these, then you will have them like one side bigger and one side smaller. Now that I've rolled that out, we're going to put it on the bottom. And once again, you want to wet the bottom a little bit with the brush. And then I'm just going to take this right here and just put it around the entire thing. Just like that. Alright. Right here I had this uh, ball tool and you can just, you know, make indentions in your fonda. Which I'm going to do with the small part right here. Alright. And when you do it, it's going to make uh, it a little bit bigger. So it will, you know, blend in. It will make everything, it won't have everything show.
Okay, now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write happy birthday on top using font. I'm going to just cut it out. So now I'm just going to take some of my black font and just roll it out. I have these pink rings. Um, you just slide them onto your rolling pin and it will the fondant will roll out how much how much how thick the pink rings are all right i'm just going to take this right here the circle cutter and just cut out on um, how big i want the letters to be all right so for example this is going to be h for happy and i'm just going to I'm just going to cut it into an h so first i'm going to cut it into a square like that and then cut each slot for the H like that okay. now I'm just going to put it on my cake once again with the water so it keeps it to stick alright so I finished making the cake here it is and I have the camouflage on this side, the zebra print on this side. I cut out the letters out of the black fawn knot. And I have the ball border on top. So this is Decorated Cakes 101. And thanks for watching.